Hi, my name is Natchez Phelps and I'm with the SPED Homeschool Review Crew. Today I am reviewing for you Key Day Science. Key Day Science is the most enchanting and delightful science program that I have ever seen. Y'all, I am a former educator and administrator and just going going through the program, the the words that I the the words that were on the tip of my tongue to describe it were, were just delightful and enchanting. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so this is not an online program for, um, for you to have your kids just to sit there and watch an independent study. That's not what this is. This is a resource for you as a teacher of your child. Okay, so it is geared for ages three through eight and um, there, it is an online platform, and so uh, for the premium membership, which I believe is $39 for a whole year, um, you can type in whatever it is that you happen to be studying in science, and like I typed in chemical reaction, and then I think maybe 10 different videos popped up. All right, so they've got videos for each lesson, and the lessons take place in a story. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Okay, so they all happen in this place called Supraland, and I just printed this out so that I had something to show you. Um, and the different characters go on adventures. And then, so this particular character, as I was looking at chemical reactions, um, she found a, a foam eruption, and it was very interesting to her, and she wanted to figure out what was causing the foam eruption. And so she, it says, we walked a bit closer and found two clues. One, there was a foul smelling stream running down the hill. And two, we noticed some white substance. So what the video shows you to do, and there's also um, instructions there as well. So if you'd rather read the instructions and watch the video, that's up to you, or you can do both, however it is that you personally learn, but this is for you on how to help your children learn. And so what the, what the video did um, is it showed three different white substances and then it showed um, three different clear liquids. And so you're looking for, so here the clue was to find a foul smelling liquid, right? So we know we're looking for vinegar and, but your kids don't know that, right? And so what it's telling you to do is to have them just kind of waft it and it's very experiential, very hands-on. And remember, they're helping this character, right? So it's like, hmm, which one of these has a foul smell? Does it smell pleasant? Okay, we're gonna put it over here to the right with the pleasant smelling things. Um, or does it have a, sm a foul smell? Okay, we're gonna put it over here to the left. And once you've determined which one is the foul smelling thing, well, then we'll, you can keep that one there. And then you've got these, um, these white powders that you're looking at. So of course, one might be baking soda. One might be, um, I think they had potato flour. And then there was another option that they had. And so then it tells you to grab a pipette and you're going to put just a little, a little bit of the vinegar in each of the, um, in each of the powdery substances. So you can see which one starts to bubble and foam. And I loved, loved this uh, hands-on approach. And the other thing I liked about it was that it gave you instructions on how to adapt it for kids between the ages of three to eight. And I encourage you not to just look at the ages, but look at the developmental age of your child. Okay, so I have an older son with profound autism and developmentally he is quite young, but I could use this with him because it can help to develop language. So for example, we might be looking for we might be looking at this chemical reaction and for him, I might want him to say the word bubble or I might want him to press bubble on his AAC and I might want him to be able to tell me um, to find which, which liquid stinks, right? So we're trying to come up with this great language for him and it's a way that he can access science. And so this, this was just wonderful. And then at the same time, I could use this curriculum with, you know, my eight year old who um, maybe needs to get, maybe needs to get started using some more scientific language, right? So maybe we need to um, talk about acids and bases and what is alkaline and what is not. And 
it also gives you that information. So it gives you a little paragraph of information on how to adapt it for littles and how to adapt it for those eight-year-olds. And it does it beautifully, absolutely beautifully. They also have a free option. The free option um, doesn't allow you to search. I believe it just sends you um, a science lab that you could do with your kiddos um, every week. Or the premium membership, again, is $39.99. And I think it's absolutely well worth it. It was just, it is the most delightful and enchanting science program I have I've ever seen. Right.